Hi everybody, Ken Soska here with BMC Software, Tracker Technical Support. Today we're going to talk about one of the keys to track its success, and that is how to configure your email settings if you're using Office 365. This is part one, incoming email. So on the Tracket server, open up Technician Client. Uh, one handy shortcut, in case you don't know it, is to press the F9 key, and that will open up the Administration Console. From there, we can use these blue links. Uh, you click on Administration, Email Configuration, and we're working on Incoming Email Configuration. Now, you can use IMAP or you can use POP. Uh, I highly recommend IMAP. Uh, it's going to be much better than POP. Uh, IMAP is a, a very standard uh, protocol with, without a lot of bells and whistles. Uh, it just works. You can use POP, of course, if you wish, but um, like I said, I don't recommend it. Uh, you could end up with duplicate work orders in certain situations. Uh, and if you have someone else checking that mailbox, it's, it's probably going to mess you all up. Um, so we're going to refer to Microsoft's published uh, settings as far as server name and port. Uh, you can see those here. And you can find these online. So we're going to go back into the administration console here. And you can see there's IMAP, there's POP. Uh, there's also a couple other options, but they do not apply if you're using Office 365. Your options are IMAP or POP. Uh, as I said, I recommend IMAP. We're going to go through those settings here. Uh, so you click the settings box. Uh, for server information, you simply put that uh, URL there that Microsoft has supplied. Uh, the email address of the account that you want the track at mailbox to check goes in the account name spot. Uh, of course, you put your password in here. Uh, you can click the test connection box and do a test. Uh, if you do get errors, you'll want to search the uh, knowledge base uh, or contact track at support. And of course, you'll also want to check this advanced tab right here. And make sure you're on 993 with this checkbox checked for this server requires an encrypted connection. Uh, you'll notice when you check that box, that automatically populates. So if you come over here and you see 143, which is the default, just check the box and you'll be good to go. Uh, once you've got all this set, click the Save button. And the next thing we have to do is tell Trackit how often you want it to check that mailbox for incoming email. Uh, so we're going to go over here to the Automated Schedule section. Uh, the default should be do not automatically check for email messages. That's not going to do us much good. Uh, once a day, you know, I don't really see people use this option. Uh, most people will use check for email messages based on this frequency and set it to one minute. Uh, that means every one minute, Trackit will check the mailbox that people are sending email to. Uh, and if Trackit finds any unread email, it will create a work order. Uh, that's something to note also. Trackit will only create a work order if an email has not been read yet. If someone goes in there and starts reading those emails and leaves them in a red state, Trackit will skip them over because it thinks it already got them. So that's one good reason not to allow people into the inbox that Trackit is checking. Uh, it can cause confusion and all kinds of stuff. Um, also, if you're just testing this out, don't use uh, like a service mailbox or something that you already have set up as a test because if there are like a thousand unread emails in there and you connect track it up to that mailbox, guess what? You're going to get about a thousand new work orders. Uh, what you can do though is send an email to the uh, mailbox that you're using. Uh, make sure it's there in an unread state and click the check now button. Uh, track it should go through the process and create a work order. It'll show up down here. Um, or you can just wait for a minute and uh, let track it do its thing. I like to do that. It's a, a better test. Then once you see that happen, uh, you can go ahead and come out of here and go to the help desk section. Make sure you're looking at all work orders. Uh, another handy keystroke is F5, and that will refresh the page, and you'll see your new work order show up. That concludes this video for how to configure email with Office 365 Part 1 Incoming Email. Uh, please look for Part 2 Outgoing Email. Thank you.